Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. This video will cover KMAP is a diagrammatic representation to minimize your Boolean expression. So in this case, you will not require any Boolean algebra rules or the theorems. Each cell position in KMAP represents the combination of input condition and each cell value represents the corresponding output condition. Now if I take an example, let's say a big example, for example y is equal to, let's say I'll take a four variable example. So this is uh, my entire uh, expression. For example, I'm taking uh, here uh, four terms. So now if you take this example, you will require a lot number of physical gates. But if I solve this expression using a KMAP and if I implement that simplified expression using a number of physical gates, then of course I will require a minimum number of physical gates. Also this KMAP is used in a variety of error detecting codes. Now let's uh, start with the KMAP example. So I have taken an expression here. As you can see there are two alphabets used in this expression. So according to the rules I will require a two variable KMAP here. Another important point to note here is that the given expression is an SOP expression. So I need to fill number of ones in my KMAP. So first I will draw a two variable KMAP here. And um, I have shown the structure of two variable KMAP in my previous video. So similar way I am drawing a two variable KMAP and uh, now I have alphabets like A and B. So I am writing the variable name as A and B and uh, the gray code sequence. So it is 0 and 1. I will write the, the box numbers also. So I have written uh, the box numbers here. Now you will say how we have to fill this expression into this KMAP. Now in an SOP expression, the complemented variable indicates a 0 and a original variable indicates a 1. Now if I want to solve this expression and if I want to represent it in terms of 0 and 1, how I will represent? This is nothing but original term, so it is 1 and B bar is a complemented variable, so a 0. Again, here 0, 0. This is 0, 1. Now what we have to do? We have to represent these binary numbers in its decimal term. So 1, 0 indicates a 2, 0, 0 indicates a 0 and 0, 1 indicates a 1. So I have represented this expression first in its binary form and then in its decimal form. So these decimal numbers are nothing but the box numbers. So what I will do? I will represent these box numbers with a 1. So 0 is given as 1, 1 will be given as 1 and a 2 will be given as 1. Now we have represented our expression in our KMAP. So we will start with the grouping. As we can see the priority goes from octet to a single. But now right now there are no octet terms. There are only three number of ones. So what I can make? I can make a pair here. So I am grouping uh, this 0 and 1 box together to make a pair. And uh, I am grouping uh, this uh, 0 and 2 box together to make a pair. So according to this expression, I get two pairs here. Now what we have to do? We have to represent these groups in terms of an expression. So I will start with the write, uh, writing the expression of this box number 0 and 1. So while writing the expression, what we have to do? We have to observe both the rows and the columns. So if you observe the row here, row is indicated by a 0 and this 0 is indicated by variable name A. And in SOP, if you observe the complemented form is denoted by a 0. So again, what I will do? I will write it this expression as A bar. Now the next task is to observe the columns here. So if you compare box number 0 and 1 as columns, there are no common terms here. Means 0 and 1 both are opposite terms. So these opposite terms get cancelled and I don't get any of the variable name for B. So the entire expression for this pair is represented as A bar. 
Now to write an expression for this second pair, what I will do? I will read the rows. If you observe both the rows here, again there is no common term here and both 0 and 1 gets cancelled. So I can't write a variable in terms of A. Now what next I have to do? I have to observe the column. The column is represented by a 0 and this 0 is indicated by B. So what I will write? I will write a B bar and the final answer answer that is a simplified expression for this given expression can be written as y is equal to we have to add both these terms so a bar plus b bar so this is nothing but the simplified answer for our given expression now the next example that I am going to take is by using a symbol here. So this symbol indicates that the given uh, expression is in the form of SOP. So now we have identified the SOP expression. But what about uh, key map? How many variable key map we are going to use? So here we don't have any number of alphabets or variables here. So how we are going to find out how many variable key map we want? So here we are going to observe the highest number that that is given so the highest or the largest number that we have been given is nothing but 15 now this 15 is not present in a two variable and a three variable key map. to get the information about the tutorials press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification app but 15 is present in a four variable key map so for this expression we require a four variable key map so now I will draw a four variable key map here so I have drawn a four variable k map according to the rules. Now what I will do, I will fill one with these respective box numbers. So I will start with a one, then a five, then seven, okay, nine, 11, 13, and there is a 15. Now to avoid the confusion with a four variable k map, what we can do, we can fill the remaining boxes with zero. In the previous example also, I can fill it with a zero. But if you don't have any confusion, you can keep it as it is. Now what we have to do, we have to form a group here. Now what do you think will be the groups here? Uh, let's say this is uh, my entire quad. This is uh, my another quad. It is visible, okay. And my one is remaining so I can group it as a pair so do you think this is right no this is not right why because we have to form the groups according to the priority so the priority is for eight four two and then one now let's check what is the answer so this is nothing but my quad that is right this is nothing but my another quad that is also right now i have a one remaining here if i make a pair here answer is not wrong but that will not be a simplified expression so what i have to do i have to group this one as a highest priority so this one can be a part of this entire quad so i am going to make a quad here not a pair here now we will write uh, the expression for uh, all these uh, quads. So I will start with the center quad. Uh, so I will write uh, the expression for this first. What we have to do? We have to observe the rows. So there are two rows that I can compare. Now while comparing what I have to see, I have to find out the common terms. Now if you observe here, these left side numbers represent a P and the right side numbers represent a Q. Similarly, here also the left side numbers represent a R and the right side numbers represent S. So if you observe uh, both these rows, the common terms is of Q. So what I have to do? Q represents a 1 so I have written Q directly. Now the next step is to compare the columns. If you observe the columns the right side that is 1 is a common here. So 1 is represented by S so I will write the answer as QS. So this quad can be represented by an expression called as QS. Now I will write uh, the expression for uh, this uh, quad. So let's uh, start with the rows. We will compare both these rows. If you observe here, this one is common and this one is represented by a P. So I will write it as a P here. Now 
now the next uh, step is to compare the columns so while comparing the columns i have one in common and one is represented by s so i have written a s here now the next uh, is uh, this entire quad here so let's uh, write the expression for it if you observe the rows here we have to compare all the four rows now while comparing if you observe every term is cancelling each other so with respect to rows we will not get any of the variable so what we have to do we have to directly write the column answer now if you observe here this 0 1 creates a confusion that there is no common term here but we are not comparing two columns here this 0 1 is a part of the single column so we have to directly write this as a answer so 0 is represented by r and 0 is represented as a complemented term so r bar and 1 is represented as s so this is the answer for my last quad so final answer what i can write that is i have to add all these three terms so we can represent it in the sop form so i will write it as r bar s plus qs plus ps you can write it uh, in any manner your answer will be correct now the next example is uh, given in terms of uh, alphabets so as you can see there are three alphabets there are given a b and c so it is clear that we will require a three variable k map here and the given expression is in the sop form so it is clear that we have to fill our k map with one so i will draw a three variable k map here so i have drawn uh, the k map here now uh, let's uh, check what are uh, these expression represent in terms of binary number and a decimal number so this will be 0 1 0 this will be 0 1 1 this will be 0 0 0 and uh, this will be 1 0 1 so this uh, represents a decimal number that is 2 this is 3 this is 0 and this is 5 so now what I will do, I will represent all these box numbers with 1. So 2, 3, 0 and uh, oh sorry, 0 is given by 1 and uh, a 5. Rest all box numbers will be given a 0. Now you can pause the video here, you can check uh, what groups can be made here and uh, you can find out the expression here. So let me know the answer in the comment section. So here I have covered uh, KMAP examples of 2 variable, 3 variable and 4 variable with respect to SOP expressions. In the next video I will cover some examples for POS expressions also. So if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section and do subscribe the channel. Thank you.